What is up, spectators? Today we are playing round one, game one of Risk Hall of Fame Tournament. We got some highly skilled, notable, well known professional players in this lobby. We'll run down the roster real quick as soon as we get in. All right, first to go is a noob no more, most known for winning the classic tournament. In the second spot, there's me. I've reached number one in FFA, and I've reached a few finals of FFA tournaments. There's Fanti, which I believe number one on the board, maybe for FFA, maybe winning an FFA. We have Parlox, number one probably for 1v1, either winning or on the leaderboard. Sterling, likewise, 1v1, number one on the board, possibility. I peed white. I'm pretty sure this man has hit number one in 1v1, and he's been up high up in the FBA, FFA leaderboard as well. Okay, let's check out what's going on. This bonus is all funky because of these two blizzards. This is a little corner for me in there. You could have hit that on the first go. He didn't. What if we try to grab over here? Would that be something that could happen? Nah, maybe. Let's try to work on this, huh? Let's try to do that. Oh, I probably could have left my three. Oh, no, 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 no. I needed to bring the three back up so Noob didn't make his way into that bonus. Because I could have fortified the two and the four, but that's all right. We'll hit that next turn. If it survives. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All the emote was on top of the of the words. Okay, Sterling working up over here a little bit. I think that might be his uh his plan. Maybe. If Noob can get into this pocket right here with Death 4 and then he goes over there, he can he can get that split bonus. It's a very hard, hard hold. Because I can end it. But if he grabs, you know. Why not? I'm gonna go ahead and remove that too now. Thanks, Parlock, for getting in my way. <laughs> Why would you put the troops there? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got <Yeah>, my bonus. <laughs> Sterling, look at you go. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, he's working for that too, most definitely. Yeah, he's probably going to hit our three come next turn here. And then I think he might have that because he hit twice the first turn. He went up here, so I think he's cleared that out. So there's this one still. Maybe there's troops in there. 
Does he get up in there? He's going in there. He's doing it. Oh, no, he wants somebody to leave. He's going to sidestep again. Yeah, he's waiting for somebody to leave. We're going to go ahead and just steal our bonus. No, well, not steal. We're going to... We're going to take what we put the most work into. There we go. We got the bonus. I still haven't gotten my two and four fortified. I guess we can, uh... All right, I press for that after. <laughs> oh man, I could be such a butthole right now and remove Noob's four from in there and then he won't be able to get it. Do we do that though? That'd be such a dick thing to do. There goes our three, bam. Wow, did you not lose anything either? Amazing. That's pretty good dice for him, huh? He lost a one on the other three. He is really good dice. Ah, yeah. Noob is waiting for something to come out of there, and it's not coming out. He's going to have to hit it. Whatever is in there, he's going to have to hit it. And it puts a five there. That's a tricky one. What do we do here? We're going to... What is that? What is happening right now? Is there... <laughs> Okay, we got those troops together. I'm really debating if we want black behind us. It could be a good kill guard. It could be a problem for me in the later game. It's a toss-up. It really is. Like, it could go bad. There, there's pros and cons to each of it. If I remove him, I don't have to worry about my back door so much. I got a two-point hold for this, um, for this plus four, which is fantastic. I could put two troops on the border each turn, and nobody's going to really be hitting that until the sets get real nice. Sterling, I forgot to check. How did he do, huh? He got six troops. Yeah, so he has this. Yeah, plus three for Sterling now. So a two-point hole for a plus three. We got a two-point hole for a plus four. The negative side to removing Black back here is he might... I mean, he's going to remove our two. But he might go and hit whatever's in here. He didn't move these troops this time. So he might be just getting ready to go and take that. I think we hit over here because we need to just see what's going on, right? And some more white. Okay. Do we leave that there? It's kind of, I don't think we leave that there. Because if he's trying to come over this way. Yeah, even if, if, well, Noob, if he wanted to go that way too, he has to go through our three because he's already landlocked himself. Yeah. 
Whoa. Nobody else has a bonus. This center is pretty good, huh? Here and then there. But I think Sterling would have broke that right away. I don't think anybody's really getting that plus seven. That would be crazy. But it doesn't mean it's not impossible either. He's, he's pushing up that direction. I don't know what to do with my, uh... Ah. Okay, yeah. I think he might have that. Good for you. This is the turn where Noob would go for his bonus. Sterling has a bonus. Yellow has a bonus. Yellow is uh, IP white. And Noob is probably about to have one here. Yeah. A few people with bonuses right now. And we get a take over here. We probably want to put... A couple troops at this top, because I think Sterling is going to hit that for a take. Go ahead and we let Noob hold because White, or not White, uh, IP'd White has this and Sterling over here has that. So for board balance, for now it's fine. I don't like it though, it's very scary. He could be putting a lot of troops in this fog and I won't ever see it. Sterling trades in. His easy take would be coming from over here on this three. Obviously, he does. He's probably not going to want to hit an eight down there if he's already that far. So, yeah, if he owns all of that, then the eight is stopping him. Which if he has the eight. That that's something. So yeah, I think he gets a card over here because we, me, and Parlox pulled put troops there. I think this is where his take is. I'm kind of hope, yeah. I'm hoping he goes down so I can go up. I'm curious about, and then yellow. H. So yellow does have this bonus. We might see him pop over here for a card or up there. He might go up this way. Black, a noob on a mobile, or noob no more, as right here. So I need to see what's going on in the fog right up in here, which is a, a good few hits. And then I think right here on Alchemist, that's probably noob. I think that's noob. Oh, he's hitting a few times, yeah, see, I think. I think that might be the the case there. I'm pretty sure that's black. But I am curious about what's in the fog. He fortified there. Okay. So boom boom. So black would have both of those? Possible? Possible. 
Very, very possible. Okay. Put our troops on the exterior. Let's go have a look up at the top. I got a blue seven up there, so we're not going to be able to see in this gap too easily. He's moving, so Sterling's pressing that way? Or, no, no, he puts it back. Okay. I think he wants Parlox to move. So, Black might be stuck, right? He hit all these. Can't get a tank. And then there's my 8 there. He leaves the 9. He might be stuck. He card blocked this early. That would be intense. That's really intense. He moves out of the way, though. Okay. Maybe yeah. Parlox is going to clear up over here, which is fine. We can go down. This is next turn. Maybe he hits the two and then it lets us out. Yeah. Yellow's name. Sterling break yellow? There's no way for yellow to retaliate against red oh he's knocked white out of there yo yo white's gonna die where's the rest of white where did we see him oh what's going on in this oh the center the center how do we get to the center i don't think it's possible he i don't think we can really easily get to the center we got to go through blue and then yellow yellow still has his bonus so there's troops there And then we don't know what's in this little part of fog either. Noob's little troops are right there. He trades. Is he able to push through? No, that's... It's so expensive. Right? It's so expensive. Going through yellow and blue to get to the possible center there. I have to... I would have to first confirm there's no white in here. Sternling would have killed White if it was up there. That's a lot of troops up there. Oh, wow. Okay. Do we have a set? We do. Okay. So we're going to trade in. Put some troops there. These here. So look. Right. There. There's some red. <laughs> oh no, there's no white in there. Where the fuck is he? Ow. <laughs> He's up in there. No way. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> is he in there? That little gap there? Is <laughs> I think he is. I think he's right there. Yeah, he is there. Oh man, uh, uh, I uh, I could have killed him if I would have went up, you know?
the 29. He was not expecting the 29 to be there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Parlex had enough to go and kill White, too. But the 29 just... It made it a... It's just a big no. Fog of war, bro! It fucking gets you messed up! It's like, shit! Oh, you know what? He's probably going for yellow. Sterling's probably going to have the center over here now. It's our three. This is probably the gist of yellow there. <laughs> Noob with these blocks, bro. Like, he should leave that there, honestly. Five troops for white. That's a lot of territory he owns, eh? So all of this back here is red. So yeah, white held on to like almost all of this stuff that he take he took. Uh a set on three is fucking fantastic. The noob holding not noob, but uh Sterling most likely has this center here now. So he's holding two bonuses right now. No? He doesn't hold it. Somebody broke him in there. Who broke him in there? I don't think Sterling has any blocks on this other side. He pulls that down. That's interesting. Why? Did he just feed up white? Can we get over there? Like, no matter what, to get to white, we would have to go through yellow again. Because hitting black is too much. Oh, he kills white. Okay. And he trades from that. And then he comes through us. He can't eliminate us. But he could feed us to noob. If he hits any of us here, Noob sees both sides. Did he try to chain Parlox? Who would he try to chain at this point? Because he cleared all of white out of there.
he trades on three two. <laughs> Look, hey, he can he could eliminate me. He has the troops for it. I think he's going to try for the 70, which if Sterling didn't block up any of the sides there, he might be able to pull this off. He's out of time. He's out of time. I'm just gonna hit all this shit as I can. enough to kill sterling there too at the end maybe i shouldn't have hit the yellows down here that's a, that that was a mistake that i made but all right gg all right you guys if you find this video baked to spot flexion please mash that like and subscribe button thank you very much for watching of course if you want to watch these games live streamed on twitch some tournaments allow fog streaming so you'll be able to see this especially hall of fame all right you guys till next time gg and see ya